You know when you're using tools like Cursor or Copilot and they write a whole bunch of code that looks great until you run it and half of the features are either missing or broken. I've been there. And then you spend the next few hours fixing stuff. You are rewriting functions. You're adding all the little pieces that the AI forgot. And now you're wondering, why am I even using AI in the first place? I could have done all these things by myself. This isn't working as it was supposed to. So, you know, this is not how it's supposed to be. And that's basically the part that kills the vibe for a lot of people. But think about this, you know, when we work in real life, let's say before AI, what do we do in order to make sure that what we are building actually works? We test it, right? So I started looking for something that could actually check and fix what the AI is building, not just generate code, but test it, debug it, and also, you know, make sure that everything works before I even touch it. Because that's what we want to do. Ideally, I just give it one big giant prompt, let's say, and it codes it for me, which a lot of coding tools can do. But the AI should also test it, right? And that's how I found TestSprite MCP. It's uh, been quite popular on social media and it was also rank one on Product Hunt. I'll leave the links in the description. You can check it out. Um, but it's interesting because, you know, it connects well with the cursor, it handles all the testing part for you. So basically you don't have to write any prompt or create these test cases manually. It's not like, hey, write these test cases for me. It just goes through all of your project. It finds what is broken or missing, fixes it, and it even tells cursor what to patch. So basically it's like you have an AI coding assistant and now you have a QA AI teammate as well. So let's get started with the demo. Here's what happened when I tried it out on one of my projects, the VMake Devs website code base. All right, this is the dashboard. Here you can see your tests. I'm gonna click on quick install and it's gonna ask you to create an API key, open cursor. It's gonna ask you to install MCP server. I'm gonna install it. And as you can see, six tools enabled. That looks good. I'm gonna close the settings and go back to my website. And I'm gonna just copy this little prompt. This dashboard is where I will be seeing my tests being created. In my cursor, I'm just gonna say, hey, help me test this uh, project with Test Sprite. This is the VMake Devs website. So here now, as you can see, it starts scanning the repository. You can see that it's going through every folder. It's checking the components, the roots, the API logic, it's gonna do that. And it's running uh, the local version of my website that I can just now configure uh, testing for. So here the port has to be the one that it's running on, localhost 3000, that is fine. And I have to add the documentation for my project as well that I can just do. So I'm adding my readme file, which should be here. Cool. And uh, continue. And that looks good. Go back to my page. Awesome. So here you can see it's generating a comprehensive code summary for the project. It has like five tasks that it needs to do. It's automatically going to create the test plan for me. You can see that it's going to generate unit tests for all the components and uh, it's going to generate integration tests, even a few UI flow tests. And these are not just random placeholders. It's actually matching the tests um, to the logic that has been found. Um, in the PRD. So as you can see, it's uh, generating the standardized PRD. And here you can see the code summary being created, the test sprite front end test being created, the readme file, uh, which is the one that I, ha uh, yeah, I had, but yeah, the front end test, as you can see over here, the plan for that being created, there you go. Um, yeah. So it's going to create all of these files for me. So as you can see, there's the directory being created called test sprite tests, and uh, it's going to run that test plan. So they, it, it just generated the, it's generating the front end test plan run. And that is good. So now it's going to execute the generated tests. 
Um, so now it is running these tests inside cursor. Uh, the results will, will start streaming in. Some of the tests will, will pass, some of the tests are gonna fail, uh, hopefully or probably, and uh, yeah. And also this is where it gets interesting because it's not just reporting the errors, it's actually explaining them. So you can see that um, the tests are running right now, the front end tests. And um, you can actually see how these will be running, like there's gonna be a screen recording, I'll just show you. So here you can see some of the ones have passed, some of the ones have failed. So let's say we click on this one, click on the video, as you can see, you are able to see what happened and what went wrong. So it actually did a screen recording for us. So you, when you click on this button, it just doesn't work. Something fails. And you can check in the code sample as well. Okay, so here you can see a description and some verification check was failing. And this one was uh, passing, so as you can see this works. And there's a description as well for that. And you can obviously check the code sample for this as well. Also, once the tests finish, you can also use the test sprite MCP to automatically send the fixes to cursor. You know, we've done this before, you, something doesn't work, you ask Cursor you know, to fix it, to fix it. But now you actually know before running your application what will not work, what will break. And then Cursor can apply those patches, redone the tests, and basically it loops until everything passes. So you can clearly see the two tools working together. So TestSprite is identifying the problem, Cursor is fixing it, and both checking if the code now works as expected or not. So you ask AI to write something, something's gonna, you know, possibly break. Test sprite will tell you what that is, which is what we just saw. Some of the tests passed, some of the tests failed. It gave you an explanation for that as well. And then you can use the same thing to let cursor know, and then cursor can fix it for you. This is what is what I wanted to show you. Pretty cool stuff. So definitely play around with it. And that was it. For me, it felt like two AI pair programmers. One is for coding and one is for testing. And you can now focus on the bigger picture. So I would say if you're already using tools like Cursor or Copilot, this is pretty simple way to make them smarter and more reliable. If you find yourself in a place where you give an AI a prompt to build something and then you're like, hey, fix this, this is not working, try again, this is not working, not working, not working, not working, I would say try it out and uh, the links can be found in the description below. See how it fits in your workflow and let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, TestSprite can also give um, the um, test results uh, to Cursor, it can then fix it, and uh, then you can see all your tests passing, everything turns green as well. So lots for you to play around with. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.